Hey guys, my name is Seriak and welcome back to another episode of the Fools Upolis here in City Skylines. Where last episode was actually pretty interesting as we placed down uh, the uh, Eden project. I had to kind of think for a second then what we actually placed down. And it's really started to grow a lot of the population. So much in fact that I think we might actually go over 400,000 residents today. We'll see how things rock and roll. But among the other things that we did last episode, I did take a look at some of the education and all the expansions that we did. And while we are slightly slacking on the elementary and high school, we're not quite reaching the capacities. Those capacities aren't as bad as our university capacities. Now, we only have one university in. Today, I'm actually going to build the trade school as well as do a bunch of other improvements. So, guys, if you are enjoying the series, watching the Falls Up on this grow. As, like I said, we're going to hopefully reach 400,000 today. Then make sure you smash that like button down below if you are new and here. Make sure you do subscribe so you get notified when that next episode does come out. But we're pretty much back anyway, and we've got lots of workings to be doing. We're only 7,300 residents away from getting that lucrative 400,000. Uh, we built our beautiful little kind of uh, IT cluster right now, which is looking pretty swiggly swag. Uh, quite a few people are using the bus, uh, metro slash hub thing, we want to call it, nearby with all these additional lines that we added in. Someone suggested that I should go for all the lines and make sure that I got enough vehicles on some of these lines for the trains and buses and trams, which is going to be something that I'm going to be doing very, very soon, so do not worry. So right now we have the University Campus of Fools Opolis. It's not quite four star. Uh, four star, sorry, it's not quite five star. It's currently four star. And uh, I could get to the next level. But I'm not going to just yet. I'm going to build the next university. And I want to see truly how many kind of students it takes away from this one before I play around. Now, on our education levels, this is our elementary, which is shocking. Yes, I know. Uh, high school, it's almost there. University even worse you know what i mean so i want to get i want to tackle the university first and then educate them from the ground up so once they get to that stages they're good to go now i've already kind of set a location i'm actually always oh, like a death over here i'm actually going to utilize this area here we're going to kind of build it within here it will spread to over there and i want to try and get it to spread over to here and it might go as far back as here as well with our beautiful trade school so we got a lot of stuff that we kind of need to combine so before we start then, let's actually kind of look at the road network. Now because it's going to be university, I don't really need to do good roads. I just want to kind of finish off the roads that I've currently got and continue some of the connections. So elevated road, cutting across. Oh, can I get that all locked and loaded? That might be a little bit difficult for me unless I try and keep it in a straight line like that. Down to earth. We have to anarchy this connection in. And then bring this back down to earth. And voila! Amazing, boys. Absolutely amazing. So back up to normal then. If I run this all the way down. As a connection like that. There's no messing about. There's no hoo-ha. <laughs> if that's what you want to call it. It, it. Everything goes where it needs to go. I could maybe connect this road across. And then bring it down there just for like an additional connection i can even bring this road here across too so if i brought that to there because not really much is going to be going on in this area let's just be honest apart from said university so if i bring this so far down because i don't actually know where i'm going to kind of commit the bend to it so if i elevate this going across and again it's pretty much in a straight line right there's a 20 there 20 for a bridge which is quite long that is pretty long. Now, if I come up by 10. Actually, how do I don't want to do this? Because I could literally make it go down and straight in. Or I could have that continue. Hmm. Or maybe we could put some commercial there for like all the students. That might not be too, too bad of a situation. So bringing this down. If I cut it straight into there, I've got this run. But obviously, we need to create sticky out bits, if that is the correct term for it. So if I start here then, and we can go by a 7 by 7 right? Nothing too special, but it creates that. And then we have an in route here, the in route there. A little bit of zone here, we drop some commercial down, and I can build the university within it. It's not perfect, but it will do. 
it would do, boys. And then all the other connections would be like via paths and stuff inside of the university area. So I think we got it pretty good. So the actual university we had originally, where is it here? We had like this grand main entrance with the main uh, building on there. Do I want to replicate something very similar? I think it probably would be a good idea. And I also think that I'm going to do it a little bit differently to normal. So I'm not actually sure how big uh, the building is for the trade school. I don't know if it's bigger or smaller or whatnot. I know that is a a 12 going across. So if I did a 6... Actually, no, if I don't do this, if I do a 4x4 four four, and then a 4 by Oh, come on, boys. 4x4... Four that should then give me enough kind of spatial area to kind of do a flat bit. So the trade school, which is da, 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 this one here, right? Yes. The main building. Oh, okay, it's perfect. Throw you in just there. And then we'll do like like bridges of paths and stuff. So that's kind of here. Then everything would be around it. It's going to look really good. It is going to look really good. So, first things first, then we need to zone the area. Make it wide. Make it even wider! There we go. Take it around here. I'll go down to, I don't know if I'm going to bring it down this area, but this is as far as we're pretty much going to take it. So, good stuff. Let's get back into the education side of things. Now, actually, we're going to first start with the dormitories, right? Now, where would be a good location for the dormitories? Where would the students most likely want to live? Near this commercial strip that I'm going to build? That's probably a nice little hotspot for them. Now, I could put this building here. How wide is it? It's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six along. So, if I can figure this out, one, two, three, four, five, six. So, in reality, the path goes there. So perfect. So freaking perfect. So one. I had to do that again. So no. Wait, have I kept the gap? One, two, three, four, five, six, and then the number seven. And then I should be able to squeeze. Oh, look at this, boys! It was meant to happen. It was meant to happen right now. <laughs> uh, <laughs> right. Okay. Calm down. So that straight away gives us a student capacity of 1,200. Uh, very good, very good, very good, very good. And uh, we'll then connect, oh, I'm in the wrong section here, uh, that walkable path. So bring that right down, connecting in. And we can expand from that as time goes on anyway. Uh, let's do some actual connectivity paths too. So actually we can probably base those off uh, certain buildings that we place down, right? So next would be the trade schools. Actually, no. This is what I always get wrong. I always forget the large buildings at the very end. And then I kind of realize I don't have much room left for them. So if I kind of get the larger buildings in first. Like, look at the size of this building. Like, literally, I could squeeze it in there. I've got so much room to add them in. Because, I'm obviously, I'm placing them in first. So, okay. So I'm going to go for this building just here on the corner we'll go for this large building i'm going to place it up to there and then this is i wouldn't say this is the largest one but it's a decent size i'm going to place it hmm i got many options i think we're doing near the train stage the train line just there and also we need to pick the sports stadium for it so where we had the over here this one the american football one do i do the same and then maybe they compete against one another or should we have a completely different sport altogether i mean i could do a baseball park that could be pretty sweet i could place it around here you know what i'm gonna do baseball it's not often i get to do like a baseball kind of uh, area or whatnot it's not often so if i bring this up by five go across by 20 and in just to create that layer of where I can then drop down the baseball park. Boom. There we go. There, the main large buildings. Oh, I forgot we're kind of sunken down here, aren't we? We'll fix that, don't worry. We'll kind of uh, add something. Do you know what I could do? 
Because I could slightly... No, I don't want to lower that too much. But I could create a bend, couldn't I? I could, like, grab these three here. Bring them out to about there. Bring that down too. And then with the smoothing in, is it enough? That's the question. I don't think you can get away with it too much just because of the sheer edging of this. I'm over on the right section here selected. Like, always smooth from the bottom first, then take the edges up at the side. I mean, once I plant, place a bunch of trees down, we're kind of... Run, run the ballpark! Get it? Because <laughs> baseball... Yeah, you guys got it. Right, anyway. Let's get back to business. So I've got the larger buildings in that I would kind of want. And let's build some paths going around the edges of them. And then we can kind of then extend from them of what I've got. So this here, we can actually bring all the way to the edge of there. Which is quite handy in, in a way. I still want to create like a, something going across here. So I think I'll make it come off this run just there. So if I bring it to there, we'll elevate it up to where it just... We could also almost go over to there. Actually, I'm going to cancel that. And... Nine by nine ish, almost perfect. It can bend with us to kind of get us straight over. And then I think what I'm going to do with this one, bring it so far up. And can I see the snap guideline on that? Kind of bends over and walks down there. They look a bit windy and whatnot, but they will be very, very connected as we continue so then running up that is perfect how did that align so perfect i will never know i will never know how that was so perfect in the alignments Jeez. right anyway so now we get to build everything all in and get everything all to kind of intertwine so the ground's keeping building this is kind of like small little stuff we can get in little pocket areas we then have the Buck Club. We get that squeeze in, boys. So I'm going to get the Buck Club just over here. Uh, we have the Outdoor Study Area. We should actually extend this section too. So if I bring it to there, 10. And then we'll do an 8 by 8 on the bend. Bring it straight into that section. There we go. So where was he, sorry? We was then with the outdoor study little area, wasn't we? So I could place this. Or I could place it there or kind of like have it semi around that section. That's good. Uh, then the gymnasium. So the buildings will start to get a little bit bigger as we kind of continue to kind of add each one in. Uh, the cafeteria. So you kind of want it near where they do be um, studying and again I think we need to do more paths to walk on so if I brought that up I could bring that directly down have that one connect in the middle creating the campus baby uh, this can go on this side just there the fountain directly outside the main building the uh, is that the library that is the library I can get on the corner just there we then have the IT club, the IT club. A decent sized building. There we go. Now this is where they do all the graduations. This is where all the events happen. We can actually make it happen right in front of the main building. Opposite like this big strip coming down. That's kind of cool to see. Uh, we then have the academic statue. Which I'm going to throw in. Hmm. I feel like we still need some more walkable paths. So I'm going to cut through here. And there's a snap just there. So if I go by a 10. 
Where does that snap take place? A six by a six. Straight down to there and in. Okay. Organization. Right, that fountain's coming in hot and heavy just there. We then have the... Oh, have I done the library? Oh, I'm on this fountain. Oh, this statue is what I'm on. Okay, I'll put it there instead. I'll keep that one in just for the sake of it. The auditorium, boys. There we go. Then we have then the laboratories. So these are where the buildings start to get a lot bigger. Now, in the little gaps, we're going to place down some trees and whatnot. The bookstore next. So we can really bring this area to life. I think we're back on the old paths right now. All right, if I get that connection directly there. You can't see the bend underneath. But it just kind of makes it all accessible and walkable. So we was on to the bookstore, right? Yes. So the bookstore will place just here. We then got the media lab. And then we're running out of buildings momentarily. The, the beach... Wait, was that the beach volleyball? In the trade school? All those tradies want to do some beach activities? I see how it is, guys. I'll let them do it near the waterfront. <laughs> Let's just do it there. Just for the fun of it. And then we have another academic statue. I'll try to get just there. So that's pretty much all them buildings right there. There is the ability to squeeze in the museum. One, you know, we've got an art gallery. We've got a technology we got the science. I think we'll do the technology one in the trade school. Just feeling that. I don't know why. Uh, question is, where do we place it? I think just here. Okay. And then back to the uh, the paths anyway, because there's a few more bits and bobs that I want to kind of finalize. Straight in there. That up to there. Might as well get a connection there. Why not? I'm happy for that to be extended. Now, before we add more dormitories in, my capacity is 6,500. We'll add some more dormitories in because it is a, a pretty decent idea. There we go. Some more dormitories in. That would have pushed it now up to 7,700. So basically 1,100 with additional four dormitories. Not too bad. Now, with the amount of peeps living around this area, we're going to drop down some commercial nearby. I'm going to... I mean, I will extend the walkability again. Where's it gone? There it is. Uh, like up to here, for example. Just run it in a straight line. If I went this in a straight line and then it snapped that into the path so everything is as accessible as I can potentially make it right tree time the falls up his brush I'll press pause so I can squeeze as much in as possible down to there cover that in running all the way through I do like the trees but I'm going to also squeeze in some more leisure buildings too so it's not just as plain Jane as, you, as it kind of comes across right now. And I think I'll run this path going down to here. I don't know why. I mean, it might be people walking down here then turn, turn to walk down that way. And I could go like Just to keep the diagonals. The, uh, the ergonomics. And all that jazz. Okay, it's definitely coming along. It's definitely coming along. So large playground. So you can't get that stuff on the little kind of paths like that. So you do have to resort to just drop them in in the little spots. Some car parking, it is quite difficult for... I mean, we have car parking already implemented in the actual baseball stadium itself. But it would be nice to kind of squeeze a couple in. So I'll do some car parking just there. Nice. We are rocking and a rolling. Dun, dun. It looks good, doesn't it? I'm more impressed that I managed to get all the buildings in. 
So straight away, people are now making their way over and they're now choosing to study in this facility. It's going to cost us 14000 to kind of upkeep it, as opposed to this one over here, 41000 But that's down to the fact that there's lots of stuff going on. Like, there's a lot more buildings, a lot more students, costs a lot more money to hire teachers, and so on and so on. So I expect the expenses for this to increase as well. Now, student capacity or students learning here is slowly increasing. And we've got to then level this place up as well. So this will take some time. This definitely will take some time. I missed the trees down here, didn't I? La -dee -da -dee -da. Just fill all this up. And to there as well. To make it feel like it's part of the neighborhood. Nice. Natural sound barriers. In a weird way. Uh, right, anyway. Commercial world build up here. So we just got to give this area time then to kind of like tick along uh, for people to get over here. Now, in terms of public transport, we have a metro line that does run through. So it might be a good idea to actually utilize that metro line by having a stop nearby. I can just bend it down and let it continue on its way. Uh, the tram route goes all the way around the edge. So that's perfect. You can literally, the majority of all them tram stops there are like a short walk to here. But I think having a metro stop would be perfect. So I'm just going to probably keep it simple. The line runs down to here. The main entrance is here. I could have one at the main entrance area. Or at least on the corner there or down here. I could just put it there, couldn't I? Well, if I had that there, I'm going to pause right now because I'm about to cause more chaos. I'm going to delete from there. And seeing as we are deep down here All right, there shouldn't be any issues with this there shouldn't be any issues with getting this kind of connected um, I'm going to do it all on the connection tool as well so from there to there once the line is then updated then I'll add the stop in but doing that a nice gradual bend for the connectivity. There to there. Same thing again, but obviously just the opposite way. And bend that as much as we can. Boom. We're all connected in. Play. And you wouldn't... E okay, I'm about to say you wouldn't even know. You do spot that there, which might cause a little bit of flooding, but we should be okay. Um, Right, once the line updates... I'll then add the stop in so these guys have de decent, pretty decent public transportation nearby. Which would be really, really handy for those guys. Also, we're like 1,500 um, residents away from breaking the 400,000 mark. Let's go. Apparently, I'm going a bit tree crazy this episode. Very tree crazy. <laughs> right. I feel like I need to build a pond in here. It's calling my name. Um, okay, updated. So I can now add a stop there. Add a stop there. Great stuff. Great stuff. So decent stop then for the students. They've got the tram loop going all the way around the edges anyway. So that trade school nestled quite nicely within this area. Done, mate. Done. Bit like this one. Done. Now, what do we call it? I'll let you guys rename it for next episode. That'll be quite fun. But, the team identity. Again, choose some stuff. I don't quite know what to go with. Apparently, we've already won one match. I don't know when that happened, because it didn't happen. But yeah. Interesting. I can't wait to see what happens on match day, how busy this area does become. But how many people have already got there so far, then? So, info. Money's still creeping up slowly. Still creeping up slowly. We'll give it time. We'll give it time. 
Right, that's not going to be too shabby then. It's going to actually be pretty damn good. We have a lot of the... Uh, I'm starting to see a few more now commercials saying that there's not enough goods to sell, Sadiac. We're trying our best, okay? We're trying our best. Now, ever since I reduced the train line speed on here, they are no longer lining up so crazily. They're now driving the goods in. This was me trying to do what I can pretty much do to get them to utilize these stops a bit more. I don't quite know if it's working out too well. Or whether now we just kind of created a monster with the sheer lengths of this road. I don't know how I feel about all of this. I don't know whether I've created a burden or they're going to be okay. I don't truly know on that one. It still boggles my mind. I mean, there's still people using it. I mean, it is dropping some stuff off right now. But a lot of them are choosing to drive down here. Now, we do have routes to go to where they need to get to. We have these train lines here all set up. And there's quite, you know, a couple of trains headed down these routes. Not too shabby. Getting quite a few using this one over here, which is interesting to see. Where's my next closest ones? Oh, the airport's a really good one. Fair few vehicles using that. And then after that, we obviously have the one down here. Uh, oh, we yeah, we, well, we've already looked at this. We've got this. This is probably what they might be choosing next because of the sheer efficiency of the connectivity of it. Getting the goods to and from. And what about over here? Yeah, quite a few ships lining up too. So I think we're just in that weird phase right now where we just need to start pumping out a lot more industrial. For them to all get their goods. I mean, we're able to bring the goods in. Don't get me wrong. Like We have like a little bit of a hot spot just up up here to train the goods in. But I think maybe killing this off, this short route. Has negatively gone against us. Let me pull it back to uh, a decent speed. So what did I pull it at originally? 40. Right, if I... I mean, normally it's unlimited. But if I then go to 70... And see what happens with that. So put it to 70. So again, for some people, it would be then quicker to use the train. But it might have a negative effect on all of this. That truly could be the lifeline to all these businesses in the central area right now. It truly could, and we've just killed it off, not ultimately understanding or realizing. But what I do realize is we've now... Oh, I'm about to say, we've now just gained 400,000 residents. But it low-key just dipped down before I could even say... There we go, we're back up again, boys. 400,000. 400,000 people living here. And then soon... It will be a ghost town. Right, money's slowly creeping up again. There's more and more people then come to this university. Right, this is going directly in our favour. Directly in our favour right now. Very, very happy. Very, very, very happy. So, not enough goods. This is what they're all complaining about right now. So, before I go kind of industrial crazy and start building more and more pockets... I want to see how me increasing the speed limit is then going to change as they're able to choo-choo train the goods over a bit quicker. Because also me slowing this down then stops trains coming from other directions thinking that, oh, there's no point going that way. It's just taking too long. Thus, I've killed off the lifeline. But the great thing about this game is right now, well, I say the great thing, it takes so long to kind of simulate anything because of how slow the game runs. It'll take like a good 5-10 minutes before we see any changes happening. So that's the only downside currently to a city this size. And I think we're now struggling to kind of um, balance being over 400,000 population. Because it ain't really growing much now, is it? Hmm. Hmm. So if we do have that industrial problem slightly. Let's see where our zone is. We've got a lot of industrial over here. A lot of offices just there, which are all slowly being built up. Why don't I zone some dirty industrial in? 
Why not? So if I go up to the 50 Is mark here. That perfectly fine anyway, so I'm just going to do all this. Get it all... Ooh, there's a slight off section there, isn't there? Um, right, okay. So if I bring this... I mean, I don't know how far to actually take it. But let's say I just went down to here, the 80 mark. And then... Is that what's that? That's 25. It's not the perfect. None of it is the perfect alignment, really, is it? And do another 10. Oh, that's where we're gonna mess up, isn't it? <coughs> As I choke. Right, we have to just take it on the chin with that gap. Oh, I don't have to, to be honest with you. I could. I could delete this. And instead, if I can get the right space in, run it down like that. I don't know how that would work out in the long run for us. And I wonder if there's a way in which I can... Where's the... Oh, no, they're all the way up there. I can say that doesn't really make much sense then for all of that. So... Get you all connected. There we go. And... Does it look too uniform? It kind of does. Oh, I can connect it here. Oh, that's amazing. Okay, if I do like that. Two, oh, I can actually just do the whole lot, couldn't I? Every connection to make it flow through a lot easier. It's It, it feels awkwardly making it all stick out so much. But this is what it is, right? This This is what it's all about. That actually has room to connect into there. Right, if we leave it like that, we kind of have some type of organizational skills. Maybe kind of-ish a little bit. I don't know. I don't know. But it's enough that I can then start to zone in a big chunk of industrial. Uh, dirt industrial as well, the ones that make the mass products. And I think we're going to need a bunch of warehouses as well. Now, it's not often that I've built warehouses, but now might be the time to kind of start thinking about how we approach this side of things. All right, we'll get some smaller ones dotted around. So I'm going to have these be stored locally. Well, that one just kind of sticks out a bit too much, doesn't it? Right, scrap the idea on the large one. Uh, oh, I'm doing the wrong. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out how to delete it. Then I was like, "Tony, have you even played City Skylines before?" But we need just localizedly stored commercial goods is what we need, and we can need these everywhere because we do have enough industrial. You know, let's not get it twisted. We do have enough industrial. It's just we don't have it in grabbable areas to what these guys kind of want it. So. If I continue, let's build another one. I'm going to build another one just here. I'm going to build one just there. So yeah, it might kind of be bulky in these areas, but I need them nearby. I need them to be able to bring the goods over. So we're going to see a lot of traffic right now as all the industrial scramble to fill up these areas. But sections where we're seeing them complain is where we're going to need these warehouses. So... I did one there, one there, just to kind of stagger the pattern. Commercial goods, commercial goods. So like I said, we're going to see huge amounts of traffic right now. So we can go around here, want to go and miss as well. Do, 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 do. So if I did one there. I know we've got one over here, which is a pretty good little spot for one. And I'm thinking about squeezing at least something around here. If I do that one central. There we go. So they're kind of like close by, but not close by, just within the vicinity. And we will start to see all of our factories right now scramble a load of vehicles out to go fill them up. So this will be a start. It'd be a start of a little bit more industrial, but also storing localized commercial goods uh, for some of the commercial properties within the area. 
Like, these have, like, stored goods nearby, but we just need more and more and more. Gotta get them within the hands of everybody right now. So you might see it get a lot worse yet before it gets better, because all the vehicles that would have originally taken the goods to the stores are now all of a sudden going to take the, 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 the products to the warehouse before they deliver them to the stores. So it's going to go in a little bit of a reverse situation at the moment, but it's going to get better before uh, it's going to get worse before it gets better. Is the that's the terminology I'm I'm kind of looking for, right? Uh, trees anyway. Now all these um, offices are built in. Place down the trees within all the gaps. There we go. There we go. And let it do what it's got to do. Let it do what it's got to do. So, yeah, not bad. Money's slowly increasing again. It'll take a while. I reckon it'll take a couple of episodes before we start to see that university making headways. But, um, yeah. We're starting to see a few more vehicles now heading down to here. So it's like the perfect speed where it kind of splits. Some will take the road. Some will take the train. And then we should start to see, yeah, more vehicles heading in this way then. So it's kind of 50... Well, I wouldn't say 50-50, but it's kind of... I mean, if it up it by another 10 miles an hour, we'll start to gain a few more vehicles driving down here. But I'll let it just take its natural course first. Its natural route. Before we kind of mess around with it. Uh, these are now starting to get goods stored in them. Again, we'll take some time. It will take a lot of time. But what's our unemployment like these days, anyway? 6% unemployed. Now... We do have quite a, f a fair few jobs available, but it could be education that's letting them down. Which is why we're now starting to make our our kind of hand shown on that front in the education side of things. And we do need to build like so, so many more elementary schools. It is unreal how many we need to build. But that's all we can kind of really do is keep trying keep doing keep placing and eventually we will get there it's like I don't, I don't even know where to kind of place all these elementary schools the fact that they only give us two uh, 300 a, a pop means that i've got to place so many in so i'll just dot them around wherever i can see that was 1200 just in that little section just there would they like to be educated underneath the, the uh metro line I don't quite know but they, we're gonna do it anyway <laughs> he is gonna do it anyway boys all right there we go lots of them nearby round here would be a good shot I know there's one just there but oh it went all funky two just there definitely a few more around this section there we go. So we've now upped it a bit more so more peeps can get elementary level education. There we go, boys. There we go. And these, like if I pick this new warehouse I put in, is only 1% full. We should start seeing more vehicles on the way. Lots of hearses now driving out too. Yeah, do you know what? I'm going to change the speed limit again. I'm going to put the speed limit back to unlimited on these tracks. Because I feel like at this point right now, I need them all to be choo-chooing along. Get the vehicles off the road, choo-choo along, get goods in bulk moved at this point. Get the goods moved in bulk at this point. But uh, we're losing a few residents right now. There's only so much, only so much that Eden Project can do, guys. Only so much. Is there another variation that I'd throw down in terms of monuments? Uh, fusion plant don't need the additional power. Uh, space elevator is all touristy. I could place that down in a little tourist hotspot. That wouldn't be too bad, would it? Uh, medical center could be good. We have then the hydrant collider, which is education, which that can go against you in a weird way. Because if everybody's highly educated, who's working in the low education jobs? It's it's a it's a funky little battle that you gotta uh, play around with. It really is. 
It really is. How many people are using our new stop for the... Oh, 162. Not bad. Not bad. A fair few students now getting in all these little dormitories. They are yet to play a game, but does it look like there's a game? Yeah, there's a game underway. We're now watching a baseball game, guys. I have no knowledge of baseball. I don't know how the game is played. But there's a dude picking up a bat. Will he throw? He's throwing the ball. He hits it. Was it, was it a strike? I don't know if it was a strike. Will he throw it again? He hit it, boys, and now they run. Is it a home run? No, just the first base. Just the first base. That's kind of cool, though, isn't it? It is kind of cool. Um, right. So all these warehouses right now are starting to fill themselves up. That one's whew, nearly 100% filled up. That one's now on the way to getting filled up, too. So it's slowly happening. Slowly happening right now. Like I said, it's got to get worse before it gets better. And we just got to wait for them, the tides to turn where they no longer want to fill up the warehouses. And then they want to take them to the stores. But there's less people complaining. There's a few little patches here, there, and everywhere. We'll see how things rock and roll. So, while we did go over 400,000, I now just got to wait for the game to kind of almost balance itself out before we can start pushing in the next direction. But we are 40% of the way there. <laughs> Damn, boy! Until next time, guys. I will see you all soon. So, good. Yeah.